Hello, welcome back. In the last set of videos, we show you how to define performance acceptance criteria using two case studies. Okay, and in case one, we have taken a in house ERP system, and in case two, we have taken a web 2.0 application. Alright, and now in this video, we are going to define performance acceptance criteria for our deployment. So, if you recall, this is how our deployment is going to look like. We are essentially installing a learning management system called Moodle. We have a mid-tier which is consist of Apache web server and PHP 5 and we have a database server which is Oracle Enterprise version 11.2.0.2. This is basically a learning management system where teacher can uh, put their course online and students can access course. Okay, so if this is the case then what kind of things that you think about when you are defining the performance acceptance criteria and for us like I, I know like since since we are doing this project then we know what kind of users this system is going to handle so let's say we know that the number of concurrent users the number of concurrent users for this deployment is let's say assume this is 100 okay and then the next thing is about the response time so there are different pages like when a student is going to see a video that's a video page and student can take a quiz that's a quiz question submission so basically what we're going to define we're going to find couple of response time the first one is average response time or ART should be less than five second and the video pages the video pages should be say less than eight second okay so within eight second my video should completely load and stream all right but my quiz submission so when i'm submitting a quiz question okay so quiz question when i'm submitting that should be done in less than one second so do you see that i am defining the response time based on different kinds of activity that I am doing on my on this website and on an average I am saying it should be less than five second and some pages should be more and something will be less okay. and then next thing probably I would define something called system resource usage so the system resource usage criteria is that my mid tier and database tier at 100 user workload should be less than 75 percentage utilized then i can have another criteria that says that two gigabyte of ram is enough for this web tier that means the system the like at the peak load the web tier memory uses should be less than 2 gb similarly the database systems memory uses should be less than 4 gb and Another, another criteria is reliability under high load the system should not fail like it may be slow but a quiz would never be lost like like say for example we are on high load and the student is trying to give a quiz a quiz and he has submitted the question we should record that this the student submitted the quiz that means those things should not those important transactions should not fail under intermittent peak load so basically these are the criteria we are trying to achieve in our test all right so basically if it's not happen then we need to see figure out why what is the problem and then maybe we need to increase the resource or we need to tune or whatever so before you start performance testing all the things are very clearly documented and written like you know, then we'll start testing and that's a type testing is an iterative process and eventually we are going to finish the testing and hopefully we are going to have this criteria fulfilled all right so whatever i explain you in this in this page i just have formally written those things in all these things are numbers like everywhere you see numbers so that is what this quantification means that don't tell me fast you tell me a number what is acceptable and above that is not acceptable so this is performance criteria that we define for our project thank you so much see you in next video